When you're in the forest, one of the things that really catches you off guard is how noisy it is. Sound just surrounds you. That is the essence of the forest. If nature itself has evolved to use sound as the way to communicate through the forest, we should use sound as the way to monitor vast amounts as well. My name is Topher White. I'm the founder of Rainforest Connection. We're a nonprofit tech startup based in San Francisco. We're here right now in West Sumatra, where we're working with a local group to help put up Rainforest Connection guardians to listen to all the sounds of the forest and help protect them. We put them up in the tops of trees with solar panels, a powerful microphone, they listen to all the sounds of the forest 24 hours a day, and pick out individual things that we're looking for that could be threats like chainsaws, gunshots, motorcycles, logging trucks. You can't really see something that's happening over a hilltop, but you can hear what's happening there pretty well. There's a whole new era that's in front of us right now, thanks to the use of machine learning combined with bioacoustics. The same way the microscope allowed us to see things that we couldn't, listening to sound using machine learning will help us to understand what nature is saying that we never would have heard in the first place. These ships that have GPUs built into them can actually run pretty advanced machine learning to analyze audio as it comes in and decide whether or not it gets to be sent to the cloud. Sound is temporal, meaning that an hour of sound takes an hour to listen to, and so people really can't do it. But computers are fantastic at this. And that only can run on something that's as powerful and reliable and really intended for mobile deployment, like an ARM processor. So then we use the same cell phone network to actually send that data up to the cloud to have it come back down to the people on the ground. Karena dengan adanya alat ini, uh, apapun yang dilakukan oleh orang yang tidak bertanggung jawab bisa terpantau, terdeteksi, dan uh, diketahui di mana uh, uh, lokasi uh, mereka melakukan uh, kegiatan tersebut. Pokoknya menggugah kesadaran masyarakat untuk lebih melestarikan hutannya. It's really great to see an organization like Arm that that's taken these ideas, these architectures, these platforms, these designs, and allowed people to sort of innovate and build upon them on their own, uh, to almost seed ideas to create a platform that other people can use to build even better things. When a local ranger is protecting just a few square kilometers of forest. That has a truly outsized effect on climate change, equivalent to taking thousands of cars off the road. And so these are the people that we need to build technology for. Nature itself is connected with sound. It's the heartbeat of our living planet and to one of the most untapped resources for trying to protect it.